Come on, Carl, the preference is for populist candidates. I don't think you're happy with that, are you? Well, I'm a conservative and I distrust populism, which is more a sentiment than it is an ideology. But uh, yes, it's, uh, uh, I'm a traditional Republican conservative and not a populist. Is the party, I would think of Ronald Reagan as the traditional conservative. It seems like the party is moving away from Ronald Reagan. Well, you know, what's interesting, Henry Olson has an interesting piece out today where he says we're all populists. And, and, and there is a bit of populism in any winning Republican presidential campaign. For example, in 1980, Ronald Reagan was, uh, you know, the, the government is not your friend, it's the adversary. Uh, the worst, the, the, the most uh, scary words in the English language, I'm from the government, I'm here to help you. So there was a little bit of populism in, in his message, as there was in, in, in every winning Republican presidential campaign in the modern era. But the question is, are, do you strike a populist note that is to say a distrust of big government uh, and Washington, or are you a populist in the sense of you think the relationship between the ordinary man and ordinary woman and their government is, is seriously out of whack and you need to seriously redo the economic system and the political system in order to, to uh, give an advantage to, to, the, to the people who are on the outs. And we see this on the left and the right, Bernie Sanders and others in the Republican Party on the right uh, who, who approach it from a different angle but end up having the same critique, which is our society is basically broken, our government is basically broken, and what we've got to do is have significant changes that put put power in the hands of people who will act on our behalf. Listen to what one Democrat lawmaker said to the Washington Post, and I'm quoting now, the worst case scenario is we get past the nominating process with President Biden as the nominee, and then he's no longer able to continue on as the nominee. That's the nightmare scenario for Democrats. All right, Carl, do the Democrats have the time or the ability to avoid this nightmare situation? Well, they would if the President of the United States faced reality. Think about this. AP National Opinion Research. 77% of Americans say Joe Biden is too old to be president, including 69% of Democrats. 68% say he lacks the necessary mental and physical health to be president. That's an NBC poll in June. And then a new poll, 34% in a CBS News poll say they don't think Joe Biden, if reelected to a second term, will live through his second term. I mean, this is a disaster for Democrats. And I can't believe that the Biden White House isn't aware of the grave difficulties they face in a general election. If the Democrats put a new face up, all of these concerns would go away and they would have the upper advantage in, in the November yes. election. Yes. Similarly, if the Republicans put up a fresh face, they have an advantage. Otherwise, we're going to see the two most unpopular candidates uh, to, to two most unpopular front runners in the history of American politics battle it out in an election in which nobody really wants either one of them to win. All right, I'll leave it at that, Carl. Thanks very much for being here. Always a pleasure. Carl Rove, thanks. You bet.